Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Indy and you're watching As Told by Indy where we talk about all the things that make us the best versions of ourselves, including budgeting and personal finance, health and wellness, career, all those good things. And so without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so I'm on a personal finance journey that I've been on for a couple years now, but I've really been intense with it over the past maybe a year or so and that's why I started to make these types of videos because I wanted to share that with you all and so I have what I call my little personal finance station now this is what you'll see me in videos doing on camera but then I also do this off camera and so I want to show you guys what I have in my personal finance station and hopefully it'll help you what's a personal finance station glad you asked <laughs> so Personal finance station for me is all the tools and the items that I use for my monthly budget. So for me, monthly budgeting is consistent of looking at what income I have coming in, what expenses are happening, and then making my budget based off of that. And in other videos, I'll show you how to do that. But I also have other tools I use to help me do that, which is why I will be showing you all what I use, how I use it, and then the times of the month that I use it which I'm gonna tell you right now is probably every time I have any conversation with myself or with you guys on camera about finance, I'm using these tools. Okay, first thing, calculator. It's very, super simple, but I don't like to do math that I don't see and I need the math to math on the calculator. So this is the calculator, I'll link it below. I got it from Pop Shelf. I love Pop Shelf. It's, I have an obsession with Pop Shelf and that's actually one thing I need to be wary of because I will spend a whole bag in there. But anyways, yeah, a couple bucks. I think this was maybe four or five dollars, but yeah, a little solar power calculator. Uh, has all the basic functions, addition, subtraction, percentages, you know, dividing or multiplying if I need to do my budgeting there. But first things first, always have a calculator. I don't like to do airhead math, like air math or head math. And uh, I just like to double check that what I'm thinking is correct. So number two my pencil box so this is actually an older pencil box that i've had for i can't even tell you how long i've had this but it has all the things i need now oh see something fell out which gets me to the first thing i would love to hear your comments on i would love a more organized um pencil box because this is just my little like first second grade one that i've always had but i want to get even more organized and i love stationery so comment below you guys' favorite pencil boxes or any types of organizers that can get this together but i will say when i just need something quick i just need to grab a, a pencil a highlighter a whiteboard anything like that i've got things galore so my pencil box is super important i also want to point out that as of right now i do handwritten budgets i understand and i know that in the world of budgeting and personal finances you can use google sheets you can use um excel documents you can use ipads and keep in mind i do have those things but for me there's something about writing it down um physically on a piece of paper that does something for me it does something for my brain and um i don't know it just makes the budgeting more real for me um which is also why i cash stuff too as opposed to using my card for a lot because again i like to get real with my money and i just i don't know so uh, everything that I'm using is based on the fact that I kind of do like hybrid budgeting when it comes to using tech versus using like traditional paper and everything like that. But if you all like digital uh, items as well, which I have coming soon, you can access those um, via Etsy or or Google Sheets or Google Documents or whatever. Alrighty, so that leads me to my next item, my notebook, my budget notebook. This is the notebook that I have for this year um, and the one that I use in my videos that you all will be seeing in previous videos and what you will see in future videos. So again, I'm a sucker for stationery. Like I just, I just like it. I love it. It's just a thing for me, but also it makes me, I don't know, like I said, it just makes it everything real. So um, this is for the current quarter that we're in, which is like quarter two slash three of the year. Um, and I got this from Office Depot. I'll link it below. And also it comes with my budget inserts. So uh, just as a disclaimer, 
the budget, the notebook comes like this. I added the insert in here from, off, from Office Depot and I will link both of these items below. But this is my notebook and the reason why I have a notebook as well is so I can do scratch work. So everything related to my budget, like anything I know I'm gonna spend money on, it's written in here. Like my grocery list, written in here. My uh, travel that I wanna do, written in here because I, I kind of guesstimate and not even guesstimate, but I um, do my research based on how much money I think I'm gonna spend and I put it all on my scratch paper. That way, again, I write it down and I get it out of my head. I do find in my experience that when you write it out and you get it out of your head, it's a lot easier than trying to remember everything at once. Like it's, it's a lot, lot easier. So this notebook is the goat. And again, I normally switch it up every quarter or whenever I'm finished with the notebook. So like this will last me through August and then I'm going to get another notebook, whether I switch up the color or switch up the type of paper or something like that, it will get switched. But also it's, it's a nice reminder to see how far I've come. And I feel like in your personal finance journey, you should keep these types of things just so you can see how far you've come and you can be grateful for, you know, all that is to come and because of where you've been. So yes, the notebook is the Goat for okay. me. So I actually wasn't going to include this, but also I use it. And I want this video to be as real as possible. So to that note about my notebook that I use all the time, which is over there, sticky notes, sticky notes, sticky notes, sticky notes. I love sticky notes because I use them at work and everything. But when it comes to my personal finance, if my friend mentions that she wants to go to dinner or if I have a family member who wants this or like my niece or nephew has an upcoming birthday or we're doing something, sticky notes. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm probably in a group chat with somebody or a phone call or something to where I need to write it down so that I can think about it in my budget. So for example, my sister called me and she was like, hey, we're doing this for my nephew's birthday coming up soon. And I was like, oh, that's great. When I tell you I was on the phone and I was like, let me let me write this on a sticky note. I was able to stick it in my scratch paper notes and then that way I can implement it in my budget. So I love sticky notes because it's like little money reminders that I can add to my budget when I'm formally doing my, my budgeting for the month. So sticky notes are goat. Again, I'll link this below. Uh, they're just basic post-its. Um, and I, got, I get the multicolored version too because I love everything in color. Alrighty, a couple more items we have, and this is more into like the cash stuffing part of my budget system. So I'm really excited to show you guys. This bad boy, hopefully you guys can see it past my lighting. This is my cash organizer. So it's an acrylic cash organizer that I got from Amazon. I will link it down below. But when I do my cash stuffings, this is where I put all my denominations because I don't like to mix my money while it's outside of their envelopes. Does that make sense? So like I, don't, I want my hundreds, my fifties, my twenties, my fives, my ones, etc. So this is what I use. It's super simple. It was, how much was this? I think it was like seven or eight bucks on Amazon, I think. It wasn't that expensive because I'm we're frugal over here. We're budget friendly, we're frugal over here. But also it just does the job, like it does the job. And actually when I put my denominations in here, which y'all will see in future videos, um, it covers all the denominations and still leaves me like one or two spaces. So yeah, my acrylic cash organizer is how I get my cash pre-organized before I start. Another casting. item I use is going to be paper clips or binder clips technically. So these, again, I got from Pop Shelf, one of my favorite places, my new favorite places. Um, just super simple. That way when I have um, thicker parts of cash that I need to kind of clip together, they're clipped together. And then also when I do my bank runs and everything, I just, I know exactly what envelope I'm, I'm getting it out of and it's already organized. Speaking of organized money, the next thing, which y'all have seen before in videos and you will see in the future is my cash envelope binder. This is like my favorite thing. This, it is. This is my favorite thing in my personal finance station because it's when things start becoming real. So a lot of you will see that I do cash stuffing videos, budgeting videos, all those good things. This is where the cash is stuffed. So we'll just open it super quick and I had it upside down. Sorry y'all. Um, it is a cash binder I got from Amazon, which again, I will link below. It has, um, what do you call these things? Pockets? Yeah, pockets. It has pockets in there. It's got like an opener here if I want extra cash. And of course it has the six binder loops here. And then it's got 
all of my envelopes in here. I actually already made a video on setting this one up specifically. So if you're a beginner just to cash stuffing, um, definitely watch that video. I will also link it below so you can see the categories that I put for my personal finance and also how you could and should probably set up yours. So yes, this is this is my this is my baby right here. Now I will say I'm super excited because I'm gonna get more of these because I recognize that a, I need multiple of them, and B, I want to make sure to actually separate my finances even more when it comes to um, my basically need to do bills for the month. This will probably be the need to do's and then my travel or vacations or savings challenges and things like that. So you guys are going to see more of these. They're probably going to be color coordinated because like I said, I love colors. I love different colors for different things, but this bad boy is... I love it. I love it. I love it. So if you don't have one, I definitely encourage you to get one. Um, I know Baddies and Budgets has a great one. Um, she has a great uh, cash binder. I got this one from Amazon. And yeah, so whatever, wherever you get it, just get one. I highly recommend it because it keeps your cash organized and it lets you know what you're doing and how you're doing it. And finally, I have my iPad and I use this at, and actually fun fact, my financial vision board is actually like my, um, it's my background for my um, for my iPad. So it's always like a reminder for me. I don't know, I, I like it. Um, I just made it digitally and I can link it below. Um, I can link the, like the template below. But anyways, my iPad helps me because I have my calendar on here and my calendar lets me know when life is lifing and where I need to look forward to when it comes to my budget planning. So whenever I'm financially planning for the month, whenever I'm budgeting for the month, I try to keep in mind what is happening and, and I'm also pretty, I'm pretty type A for the most part. So if it's not in my calendar, it's not gonna happen. So, but uh, <laughs> reversely, conversely, whichever word, uh, if it is in my calendar, I can account for it. I know what's happening and I can budget for it, right? So for me, my iPad is always near me so that I can make sure that my calendar is right within my purview and we got it going on. And as you can tell, once again, I like colors. But it's because like I'm telling y'all, I'm a visual person. I'm a visual and like auditory person. So for me, I'm the type of person I like to look at it and talk about it at the same time. So when I'm budgeting, I'm looking and I'm talking. And then also like the view of colors is always so much fun for me. So my iPad is always next to me because my calendar's in it and I know what is happening. All right, y'all. So that is it for today's video. Again, I just wanted to show you guys what's in my personal finance. Um, desk if you will because when i sit down and budget it's an entire meeting with myself it's my way of keeping myself accountable for what i said i was going to do with my money and what i want to do with my money and making sure that those two things are aligned so comment below what's in your personal finance desk area of your house or your closet if you will i would love to hear what you all have and let's collab and connect in the comments below Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.